What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Tutorial Tuesdays. Today I'm going to be showing you how to figure out a day of the week given any certain date. So for example, I could say May 21st, 1984, you'll be able to figure out what day of the week that was on, whether it was a Tuesday or Wednesday, I don't actually know. I'll leave it up here. Now it will take a little bit of mental math, but it's not that bad. It is possible for anyone to figure out. As long as you have like a third or fourth grade math level, it's really not too difficult, but will take some practice, not gonna lie. So I know a lot of people aren't that great at math or don't like math, but really, if you practice it, this is something that shouldn't be that difficult. You should be able to get within maybe 10 seconds or so, maybe a little bit quicker once you have it down. But again, will take practice, not too impossibly difficult. Now before I begin, I want to thank you guys for helping me get to a thousand subscribers. It means a lot that you were able to do that. So thank you guys, every single one of you who has subscribed over this past year, or if you were subscribed before that. Thank you guys so much. It means a ton. I've been trying to get there for a while and really crossing that threshold is huge for me. So thank you again. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Help me get to 2000. I don't know, but super happy with 1000. Thank you so much. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna need to do is memorize the month values. Each month has a different value that you're eventually gonna add into the big long equation that you will use to get to your number, which you will then convert. But each month has their own value. They're gonna be listed right here. So you can see all of them and you're gonna need to memorize these. Now this is probably the most difficult thing about this is being able to memorize and recall all of them. So you're gonna have to come up with a method to remember this. Um, I just eventually kind of learned them. I didn't really have a certain method, but once I did it enough, I was able to memorize all of them. So really just kind of learn them, do something weird, funky to help you remember them, whatever it is. So once you have those down, you're gonna have to memorize the century values as well. This is a little bit easier. Just memorize these values, it's not too complicated. And most of the stuff you're gonna do is either in the 1900s or 2000s. So really just remember five for 1900s, four for 2000s, and you should be good. Okay, so if you memorized everything you need to learn, so there's nothing new you're gonna have to do from here. So once you have those down, you're set, except you have to do some math. So this is where the math part comes in, a little bit of mental math. First, you're gonna start with the last two digits of the year. So let's say the year is 1982. 1982, that is our year. So let's do the date July 5th, 1982. Doesn't matter what day it is. We're gonna start with that one, July 5th, 1982. First thing you're gonna do, take the last two digits of the year, that's step one. So 1982, so 82 are the last two digits. You're gonna take that number and divide it by four and then round down. So if you have the remainder after whatever, however you do division, get rid of that. So if you can't do 1982 in your head, you're like, ah, oh, this is really difficult. Instead of thinking as dividing, think of it as multiplying. So what times four equals 80? start there, obviously it's 20. 20 times four is 80. And you really can do this with any year. Now, some of you might have some difficulty dividing four from 80 or maybe 90, maybe even 70s. So what you can do, all you really need to memorize is that 15 times four is 60, 20 times four is 80, and 25 times four is 100. And then just kind of interpolate them from there. So you have the number, for example, 82. Well, you know that 20 times four is 80, and so 21 times four is 84. So 84, that's too high. So you have to go back down to 80. Hopefully you kind of understood what I was saying there. Basically just kind of work from a number that you know and work your way up or work your way down and you should be good. So for our example, July 5th, 1982, we have 82. 82 divided by four is 20.5, but that rounds down to 20. So we have the number 20. Now what we're gonna do is take that number and add that to the year that we already had. So 1982, so we have 82, add 20 to that, we have 102. So we're already two steps of the way there, only five more to go. <laughs> so we have our 102. Now this is where we add the century value. Now the century value of the 1900s, as you remember, is five. So we go from 102 to 107. Then we add the month value. Month value for July is two. 107 becomes 109. Now after that, we take the date. So 
So the date, it was July 5th. So it's a five. We have 109 becomes 114. Now, that's all you need. You have the number 114. And then what you do is divide it by seven. This is actually probably the hardest part mental math wise, dividing by seven. But what you can do is actually just subtract sevens until you get to a number that you kind of know. So what we can do is subtract 70 and then it'll still work. So we have 114 subtracted by 70, that's 44. Now that's a lot easier of a number to work with. So 44, we know 42 is seven times six. So we can subtract that and now we're left with two. So then the easy part, we match them with the days of the week. Sunday is one, Monday is two, Tuesday is three, Wednesday is four, Thursday is five, Friday is six, Saturday is zero. So we have a two, we have Monday. So we match that up, Monday, two, that means it is a Monday. July 5th, 1982 is a Monday. Let me check to make sure that I'm actually right. Can confirm. Okay, so it was a Monday. I should have probably checked that and done that all beforehand, but I just kind of went for it on the spot. So that is pretty much it. So all you need to do, memorize the month values, memorize the century values, and then the steps you're gonna do, what you do is take the last two digits of the year, divide it by four, take off the remainder, and then add that to the year. Once you have that number, add the century value, add the day value, add the month value. So add everything, so just go through all of those three things. So century, month, date, just remember all those. Then take that result, divide that by seven, then get to that number that you need which is the one through six value, well, zero through six value, because it could be a multiple of seven, and then use that to find the day of the week. One is Sunday, and then it goes up from there, and then Saturday being zero. One thing I did not mention is if you have a leap year, so in your first step, you divided it by four, and it was a multiple of four, you had no remainder, and that means it is a leap year, so if you have that case and is also in January or February of that year, so basically one in every like 24 or 25 dates that you have, then what you need to do is subtract one from your final result. So if you end up with a five, it's actually a four. And that's just because leap years are kind of weird, but hopefully you don't run into that. Most dates you won't have to, but notice if it is a January or February date, Check if it's a leap year first and then do your result after. If you have any problems, let me know in the comments. I know this is a little bit tricky. There's a lot of math going on, but it's really not that difficult and pretty much anyone can learn. I tried to over explain everything, so hopefully you got it. Uh, if you have any questions, like I said, let me know in the comments. Again, thank you guys for helping me to get to a thousand subscribers. It means a ton. And thank you for watching this whole video. Hopefully now you will be able to do this or at least practice it to be able to do it. I really appreciate you watching. And if you are subscribed, thank you so much. And if you're not subscribed, please do that. It will help encourage me to make more videos like this. So, and if you have any requests for any future Tutorial Tuesdays, please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you again for watching. Peace.